implementation of OpenGL. So you don't need hardware acceleration. Of course, you'll see the improvement in performance if you have hardware acceleration, but you can still do the same functionality all in software. Uh, Eddie, just to clarify, the one that you showed is an example from Google, right? So are we going to actually see that thing on the hardware that's going to be available for the consumer? Which, which, um, the, the whole thing that you showed in the, the demo. That whole demo? Yeah. I mean, that is Android. Are we going to see that on the actual handset? Is that what well, it so looks it, like? Again, when you're, when you're working on an open source project, it's up to the community to take something in, right? So um, that's, the, that's the base functionality and people can add to it. Or it. So we can expect to see that happening in the actual product. I hope so. I mean, I, I think it's a good start. Is that, is that made by Google or is it made by somebody else? The thing. The device. No, no, the, the, the software. The, the software is Android, right? So it, that's the thing that was built in collaboration with the open And the device itself built by... The device itself, I can't say whose device that was. Um, but in the alliance, we have Samsung, LG, Motorola, HTC. And it comes out you're talking about later on this year. What about price point? Um, it's not my, it's not a physical product that Google will be selling. Um, Android is an open source operating system platform. Um, so the OEMs will take Android, no handsets around it, and they set the prices. So where do you make your money? Uh, it's, there's, this, is, uh, this is the open nature, you know, Vixel speech about, you know, how innovation happens and how Google's business model, you know, if there's innovation and killer applications being created on the web, Google benefits in that thing. There's no licensing. This is open source, um, so it's it's free to the community. Um, uh, carriers have shown a great interest in what we're doing because I think there's a lot of innovation and a lot of what they can do. And of course, you know, we're aligned as far as the carriers and Google and a lot of other people in the alliance. They all want to delight consumers, right? Because it's consumers who enter into building relationships. It's a general operation. Is that, that going to hamper it at all? I mean, we're talking about touch and trackball. I mean, is there going to be this is too like is there going to be a time where we say this is too general? We like it more specific. Like the you know the iPhone OS is made exactly for the iPhone. It sure, works amazingly well. Sure, sure, sure. So I mean, the power of open source is people can take a general thing and make it very specific, right? And that's the difference between you know a, 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 a company like Google, which is primarily a software company, and hardware companies, right? Hardware companies will take software and make a product out of it. This is Add anything, they can subtract anything. Uh, uh, and I also want to bring, uh, bring Steve in to the crowd here. Um, You're lingering in the background. It's okay, come on in, help me out. Uh, you have to help defend me against this. Uh, uh, we were running it at 384. Um, yeah. it, it, for power consumption reasons, we can step it up and down to power That's with the OPGL. Yeah, it's with the hardware acceleration. They have a 3D graphics card. On the developer challenge, you've got a bunch of apps to come in. Are, are, the, are the final winners, guys who win the 200, are they going to be launched with the with the OS, or with Android itself, or is it, is it, is it not going to be like yeah, we, we didn't make, we didn't like set up the contest specifically to, to say you get a uh, ride on, on, uh, on the open source project, but you know, the great thing is that, you know, we got to introduce some, some really fine applications. So will we get some other additional kind of marketing push from Google besides obviously on the website and the, the millions of them? Potentially, but nothing to announce. Nothing, nothing. I guess we bring potential. Are you saying that people are going to be confused in terms of what are you bring to the table versus the iPhone and what Microsoft is doing? Um, I, I don't look at it like that. I look at um, delighting consumers with killer applications and giving them access to the things that they're used to accessing on their desktop, right? So I'm, I'm, the whole openness that surrounds Android is allowing consumers to do what they want to do, right? So this is a technology platform that enables them to do it. Um, there's also um, some, you know, kind of a ripple effect on the business model where um, this is open source software, which means it's free software, right? And if you look at cell phones today, about 20% of the cost of cell phones is software. Software, right, just like you, you know, pay for your operating system for your desktop, people have to pay royalties for software on cell phones. With a very, um, uh, uh, you know, sophisticated open source platform that can do a lot of innovation and delight a lot of consumers, and it's free, right? It's going to make cheaper cell phones. A lot more, a lot more choices for consumers. That's right.